All right, so um, here we go. This is part five, and this is the final painting process when I build a pedal. So we did a little forum poll thing, and Nooster Dumas won, and this is the image he chose, and I want to blow this up here kind of on my iPad. So when I paint, I usually have a blank, uh, black and white image here resized. I'm going to show you guys something here. So I think he wanted this red guy, but I think red on red would look kind of silly. So I'm going with this like angry horse donkey thing, whatever this guy is, and I was going to put his face on here. So when I paint these, uh, if it's an image that's already been established and that's something I've created, uh, I found what's really easy to do is if you cut out, if I cut out the basic image of the face, I can kind of put it on here and I can fart around with the sizing and then, you know, kind of get a feel for what I want to do. And I think that's what we're going to kind of go with today is something like this. So as I mentioned in part three, we're going to do outlining in black, which is my test or model masters black ink. I'll fill in with my primer, and then after there, I'm going to start doing all the finer detail work, which is going to involve just my basic colorings, and I'll start mixing some colors, which you'll see on the paper there. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get cracking at it, man. It's going to be fun. Here we go. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of voiceover here, just so I can keep in the loop of what I'm doing. And here I'm just doing the basic outline of the head. This is just going to be a rough guide going forward with it. I had to use a pot. I don't know if you saw that. I had to use like a pot to take that piece of paper off because it did stick to it a little bit. But so what I had mentioned earlier um, with using black paint, just doing the uh, very standard outline, I'm just trying to get a feel for how this might look. And kind of almost like a coloring book, I am just getting a basic outline that I'm planning on, you know, evolving on as the paint painting process goes. Um, I will say this, I had more cameras and lights in here than like a porn shoot, so it was really hard to negotiate, so you will end up seeing my head a little bit, and I do apologize for that. Uh, and I do bump the camera a number of times. <laughs> it, this was very challenging, and not usually my typical uh, fare. But okay, so right there I have your my basic outline, and I am struggling with the nostrils and the... Uh, eyes so as I fill in with the primer coat the first primer coat uh, I kind of end up covering up some of it because I'm I'm not 100% okay with it and I'm gonna I know I'm gonna end up redoing it and this is all I'm doing here as I stated earlier I'm just doing a primer coat kind of filling in the lines there and feeling out how this painting's gonna go and now I let the first coat dry which it's doing and I'm gonna come in with the second coat and what that does is when I airbrush, there's usually a little bit of bumps from the airbrush paint or whatever. This is going to help cover that up, and it's also going to give me a, a nice canvas. You know, you can't see air quotes on canvas, but a nice canvas to work with when it comes to adding additional coloring to this. So I have my outline done. I have my clear coat on, and now I'm just going to start kind of roughly cover, coloring in the basic coloring um, of what I'm going to do. So I know that I wanted the eyes to be red. And, you know, there's going to be a little pink on the ear there. And then I start mixing up the blue here. And what I do with this, and I actually got this right on the first try, was I just threw a little bit of blue into that, some sort of gray I had in these little containers, and just start filling it in. And again, I'm going to go over this probably a couple more times with different coloring to show off different effects and, and try to do some shading and stuff to make it look, you know, really interesting. but. This is all just the basics. And as you can see, I'm putting it in pretty, th it, it's, it's coming in pretty thick. Again, this is going to be the coat I work on top of, so I want it to be pretty good. And now this is bringing in a flat black, which I really like to use for shading. I think it just looks really neat. And having a contrast between flat and gloss uh, just looks super cool. And as I've talked about earlier in this video series, having a flat red background to paint on top of, anything you paint on top of it is just going to automatically pop out because of it 
just being a flat background. And I don't know if you saw, I had some blue on the neck. I decided to go over that with flat back, black because I didn't want, like the way it looked. And again, it's decisions that I keep making as I go along here and adjust it to try to make it look cool. And with this, I'm just going over my line work, trying to bring out some, some of the image, redoing the nostril that I struggled with and didn't really like, and doing an outline, hopefully to help it pop, get your head out of the way dope. There we go. I got the rope kind of dialed in there around the net, uh, around the nose. <clears throat> right there, I'm doing the ear, and I get all the ear stuff done, and that looks really nice. Um, I'm putting gloss on the nose there, which uh, what I wanted to do is come back over it with the flat black and, and kind of detail around. And right there, I didn't like how much black I did for the, some of the shadowing, so I brought back in some blue, kind of cut it down and make it look a little bit better. The red was giving me heck for the eyes, so I, I think there's probably about four coats of red on there. And there I am just giving some more detail, putting in some more flat black, trying to get out some shading. I'm coming in now with white, get the hair, doing a little more like highlights on it. And I didn't like the way the white looked on the nose, so then I mix up a bunch of blue and white together to make it a little bit nicer. And what I'll do there is take paint on the brush, wipe it on the page, and then try to rub it on really lightly to give it a more of a, a uh, like shaded look. Again, get your head out of the way, dope. And so right there, I got the eyes kind of dialed in. I'm still trying to put in the black and make this look cool. And then what I'm doing here now is I picked up the image to get a better look at it, and I'm starting to do the final detailing on the nose, on the image itself, putting in the whiskers. Now I realize I want to put the rope part in there, and I'm going to start kind of going with that. So then I had to add another layer of primer there, put it down, let it dry while I finish up some other detail work, and then add the yellow. And now I'm going in there with the final black to kind of make it stand out. So now that I'm finishing up this, it uh, is pretty much done. I put the knob on it, and we're ready to go. So there we are, pictures of the final painting. And I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Thanks for watching.